What's up guys, this is Ideal Creations and today I'm going to be showing you another creation built by me and my friend Recon Angel. Now this creation is a mini game and it is called Fish a Mob. So basically there's two teams and there's only teams of one. So basically it's a 1v1 and let me explain it to you guys. Okay, so the map of the map name is called Fish a Mob, not Catch a Mob. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's called Fish a Mob. And my gamer tag is TJ I got your sniper, but I'm going to be changing that later on to Ideal Creations, so no worry about that. And Re Recon's taking a little bit more credit over here. Um I did a lot of the redstone, but he went on YouTube, found some tutorials, but I just went in my head and did my own re redstone, so he's trying to take a lot of credit. <laughs> Sorry he's not here today, um, he couldn't show up for this video, and it looks like our scorekeeper is taking a nice swim. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and kill this scorekeeper, because he's supposed to be in this platform over here. I don't want him uh, tampering with anything, and I want him to be in his place like he's supposed to be, so let's go ahead and put him back right where he's supposed to be. So, pretty much... Alright, now it's time to explain what this game is. Okay, so first off, once you enter the game, you enter slowly <laughs> with these spider webs, and then, um, so you open the chest and you take a fishing rod. So basically, you take a fishing rod, and then you and your opponent, once you both have a fishing rod, you press this button to start the game. Now, pretty much, um, what this what it's going to do is it's going to spit out a whole bunch of mobs and basically the objective is to challenge the person across from you to catch one of the people or one of the mobs over there in the water so the, you have to stay within bounds you can't break this or nothing you can jump and do it whatever you gotta do you have to stay inside the square and let's let's say there's somebody else playing with me right now I'll just be like I challenge you to get a creeper so that means they have to catch a creeper or they lose their turn and it's your turn and every time you get one that they say you have to get you get a point and you press this button and one of the glowstone will stick out but later on we're gonna make those redstone lamps because they will look much better than glowstone so let's go ahead and start the game here so basically when you start the game it just sends out a whole bunch of mobs like so now some mobs you might have to pull off, as you can see they pile up on the sides here. So just go ahead and use your fishing rod to pull them off. Make sure you got all the mobs. Wow, there is a lot of mobs. <laughs> um, ah, there's one more. Oh there's, oh, there's a couple more. Okay, I'll just... They're still coming out. Alright, so I think we hit the limit here. So basically, you just go ahead and hit the button again. That will stop the noise. And it looks like our inner man has teleported out. Okay, so here's all the mobs. There's a lot. And this is why this game is very... Um, it's not too difficult, but it just depends your opponent. So basically... Your opponent says, I want you to catch a villager. So you basically try to catch a villager like so. Now I caught him. So if you catch him, you press this button, and you get a point. The glowstone sticks out like so. It's kind of hard to tell just a little bit, but we're going to add redstone lamps in later updates. Also, my other mini game, Predator, the download should be up, so go ahead and check that out. But anyway, and then you challenge, you challenge him. Hey, I challenge you to get a duck. Because they're really hard to get. Look how small they are. So let's say he misses. And he gets a spider. Well, he doesn't get a point. And then it's my turn. He challenges me. And then I get a point. And then I get a point again. And then I win. If you get all three points, you win. And then you just press the button again to reset the game. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it for this uh, creation. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you the redstone to it. Now, this is a lot of redstone. And we did have a lot of attempts over there. As you can see, um, pretty much... We have a system for the dispensers, and after you press the start button, it sends out a signal, and it goes through all these different devices that I will make later on tutorials if you guys want me to of how to make this stuff. And then you, we basically made memory machines for the uh, 
for the redstone we had to because the other ideas that we had did not work out as well. So we had to make memory slots, basically the uh, glass means that it is not activated and then the blue wool means it is activated. So that's how that works and then it all goes into the glowstone. And then over here on the side we basically just have an automatic repeating dispenser. And then over here we have a mob trap which the rates aren't very good. As you can see there's no mobs. So we took this out but if you guys want you can use it. It still works. You just basically have to break these three blocks and then just break these three for the mobs to get through. Now obviously you're gonna have to extend this over but I would not recommend this. It's not very useful and it's not very good. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our latest mini game. There will be more mini games coming in the future. As you can see over there, I have a soccer game work I'm working on right now. And we'll talk more later about that. So um, I'll see you guys next time. And this is Ideal Creations. Thanks for watching.